We've got new weekly objectives in Hockey Ultimate Team featuring a free 94 overall player item that will break down as well as a Matthew Kachuk upgrade. So hell has frozen over and they did give Matthew Kachuk a 98 overall card, finally being rewarded for him becoming a Stanley Cup champion. Again, congratulations to the Florida Panthers. And as you can see, we've got more Panther cards that did get a 98 overall and Steven Lorenz, Kulikov, Anthony Stolarz, Nick Cousins, Ryan Lomberg, Kyle Ocpozo, and Matthew Kachuk. Those are also to go along with all of the other player items that have been released throughout the year. You can basically make a 98 overall Florida Panther team. So I won't go over everyone. If you want to take a look at each card individually, you can always download the League Gaming app and take a look on Hut Hub. It'll be right on your phone. All cards go in almost immediately. We'll start first with the 98 playoff. Matthew Kachuk, and he's still... At 98 overall, somehow at 94 speed and excel. Now, he does get speed boost, but does not get anything for that middle synergy, meaning that he's stuck at 96 speed, 94 excel. Goal make it snappy is great. Truculence is fun. But man, they just hate Matthew Kachuk cards having fun. Another one to watch out for, just kind of sneaky. Anthony Stolarz is 6'6", six six, 98 overall, and gold showstopper. This low-key might be the best goaltender in the game. And for all of us team of the season, guys, that have been holding out for basically six months, it's our time. Just kidding. He's only got 90 for Excel still. Like, I get that they want 99 overall to mean something because in years past, skating would get up to 99 at basically 97 overall. But it's just crazy that we can't get just 99 skating on some of these guys, especially one of the most popular players in the game. Now, you can switch it up and go 96, 96, but it's just obviously frustrating because he's 98 overall. But nonetheless, we do get a Matthew Kachuk upgrade. Now, for this week's weekly mode updates, we've got Neil Pionk. Completing the objectives, you will get a choice of either the Rangers or Winnipeg Jets, 94 overall, Neil Pionk. Why, you ask? Couldn't tell you. But he is six foot with 96 speed and excel. No skating increases that you can do and gold shutdown, which is kind of nice. So if you just started the game, you could easily make a usable team, which I can appreciate, but these are just so odd and obscure. Nonetheless, gold shutdown does make this card passable for 94 overall. This would be the Winnipeg Jet version and the New York Ranger version. Again, features the same skating, but elite edges. So a little bit more offensive. I do like that they actually tried to make the abilities match the card type, Meaning that this is obviously his prospect card. I really like that aspect of it. Just make maybe a little bit more of a popular player. Now to earn this card, you've got to complete the Neil Pionk objectives. Honestly, pretty simple. Buy one card from the auction house. It could be anything and you'll get the 81 base Neil Pionk. And then all you've got to do is score some goals, assists, and deke. And you will get some coins to complete some of these objectives. You also need to complete some of these with Winnipeg Jet player items as well as New York Ranger player item. Could be any, but I'll be honest with you. 125 shots, 50 passes, 125 body checks, 45 deeks, as well as 20 assists and five goals. This will take you an hour at most in squad battles on rookie. And it doesn't matter how rich you are or anything like that. Very, very easy to obtain to get this 94 overall Neil Pionk. And obviously he's not going to make a lot of our teams if we're still grinding up the game, but it's seven power up collectibles that you can grab. Or you can use them in event collectibles for the NHL draft event because you will need to collect 240 NHL draft collectibles to make all those master set players now we did get some captain cards featuring some of the european captains including the new 99 alexander barkov for winning the stanley cup finally fast skating alexander barkov card he's got silver quick draw and make it snappy this is a great card he's got great size he's very similar to austin matthews cards he just always has like 10 skating slower than everyone else at 99 that doesn't matter this is a solid card we've also got the 97 nick lidstrom who comes with goldborn leader silver shutdown which is great and he almost has his skating maxed out at 97s across the board. Again, another strong option here in the 97 Nick Lidstrom. Alex Ovechkin's card is kind of cracked. 98 speed, excel, and agility. 99 shooting, hand stats, body checking. This is almost a perfect card at 6'3", 238. Does not have a skating synergy, but does get make it snappy back at you and truculent. So another really fun card here in the 97 Alex Ovechkin. And then a 97 Zdeno Chara, which is kind of frustrating because if you went out and you made the limited edition Chara, the master set, you know, 
obviously, if you were to complete that, which, you know, was pretty simple, but still, you got a little bit of a flex because you got, you were able to use the damage Chara. This one's got 96 speed, excel, and agility. Very, very strong, obviously. No skating synergies, thank God. Does have truculence. So, again, just one of the best cards in the game in the 97s of Dale Chara. Taking a look at the X Factor, Alex Ovechkin, just still such brutal skating. Like, again, this is at 97 overall. Something to pay attention to going into NHL 25 is to not assume that we're going to get skating increases. Like, it is clear that they are trying to make all the skating upgrades be the last attribute upgraded which i don't think is a bad thing it just needs to be known or at least acknowledged early on in the year so that we can better prepare but still like you're gonna have to wait for a 99 alex ovechkin card to have decent skating for you know this stage of the game just want to touch on some live moments again the weekly moments you can go and just complete different objectives here that are very simple for prime packs prime packs suck so don't expect anything out of them but again if you are someone who has just gotten into the game and you want some free content these are pretty simple to complete and you can just get a pack for each one on top of that we've got the stanley cup finals moments play through every single game of this year's stanley cup final and i do like that they actually at least started to describe what the moment is some of them just didn't get any tech but you know it is what it is you can earn 75 live moment collectibles for doing these seven and again they vary in difficulty now with 75 collectibles you can get five diamond collectibles if that's what you want to cash them in for you could also do mini packs or base packs i wouldn't i would just get the five diamond collectibles which you can then turn into you know four for a mini ultimate pack so not bad rewards for doing seven pretty easy moments and then lastly heading on over to the store you know that we love packs on this channel take a look at this thing seven hundred thousand coins or 85 dollars worth of real money for this pack in which you've got a 15 percent chance of pulling something that's 95 and above 92 and above is at 50, which is dope, but it's 32 NHL players in every pack. You are guaranteed a random player from each NHL team. I mean, I don't know what they're doing with packs this year. They're just making stuff up completely random. Don't buy into any of this. So again, shout out to the Florida Panthers for winning this year's Stanley Cup. One of the best Stanley Cup final series we've had in the salary cap era, at least. Thank you guys again for watching. I'll see you next time. Have a good one.